So before this video gets started, I want to give a big shout out and thank you to GT Racing who not only sponsored the channel in the past and sent me out a brand new chair, but they actually sent me up another chair actually, which is their brand new model, the GT Racing Ace M1 series, as you guys can see behind me. Oh, but here's a better look if you guys can tell. So this right here is the GT Racing Ace M1. This actually comes in four different colors. You guys got your leather black, leather white, you guys get the beige color that I actually got, and an ash color. The reason I kind of chose this color is because I thought it was a little different from the last one since it wasn't made of leather, so it looks really, really nice. As you guys can probably tell, it just is super nice and after using it for like literally two weeks now i do like the feel of it it feels a lot more luxurious and all that and it just makes sure i'm just completely working or you know even when i'm not working and just kind of like reclining all the way back it just is a phenomenal chair so if you guys want to check out their chair all the links will be down below in the description. Also, I want to also mention they also have another chair that is really, really awesome. They have a chair called the GT-099, which is a red model that is just absolutely awesome. It has that legitimately cool gamer race car chair vibe. And I think it's the last chair I actually had before this one. If you guys want to check all those out, it will be linked down below. But anyways, let's just get right back onto the video guys like and subscribe in five seconds if you want to spawn a modern house just like this yo look at that we didn't even have to like build anything hey what's up guys double a 12 here and welcome back to another awesome minecraft video for you guys today today we are going to be doing something actually insanely cool that I do think a lot of you guys will find pretty awesome. But right before we get started, if you guys are brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you guys never miss a brand new video. And guys, today's like goal is going to be 5 likes. I know 5 is such a high like goal, but I do believe if all you guys hit that like button down there and down below, we can easily hit 5 likes. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm pretty sure you guys can tell what's going on today. We are going to be crafting all these houses, or you know, like... Some of them are houses, some of them are literally wizard towers in Minecraft, guys. That is right. You don't have to build any of these houses. All you guys need to do is use the crafting recipe that's pretty much shown in all of these awesome pictures. And uh, basically, they will work. So uh, let's get started. I got this. And there's apparently a base guide, apparently. So uh, so apparently, we got to like place the bases at least 30 blocks away from each other so uh, they don't collide. So... Uh, Good luck, let's get a stone axe and some random wood just so we can use them. Anyways, let's start with the wizard tower we just saw. So as you guys can see, they got the crafting recipe kind of set up here, but you know, we're going to try our best to memorize them. For this, it looks like all we simply need to do is first of all get a crafting table, sit, simply um, do this, as you guys can see, then create kind of like a Y shape with the other, I guess, um, construction pieces, and you get the wizard tower, I guess, um... Okay, we accidentally almost spawned it in here, I'm pretty sure. Whoops. Um, okay, so we probably got to go further away to check out what's going on. We got some stuff in this house too, which is awesome. How does this house look like? Is this, is this a house we can kind of like craft as well? Let me quickly see. Uh, I, can, I can pretty much, I'm pretty sure I can build that with like my pinky, guys. This is my pinky. No, no, nothing else necessary. But okay, so if you guys don't know what a wizard tower is, basically, uh, well, a wizard tower is a tower where... The, the wizard state. I, I really don't know how else to explain it, but they look really, really cool every time I see one. So let's try spawning one in. And okay, what's gonna happen? Oh, yo! That's actually so cool how you can kind of hear the building going on. And it looks like it kind of, you know, uh, flattened out the terrain. And okay, I'm sorry, Mr. Sheep, but it, this is my video and not yours. But okay, so this is actually ridiculously awesome. What the heck? Um, 
Well, let's see what the inside looks like because the outside actually looks pretty solid. Um, hello, wizard. Are are you here? Like, do do you want to be a wizard? Like, what's going on, man? Let's reorganize our inventory just quite a bit. And okay, all right. So you get chests and okay, you, this is kind of a weird flaw over here, like having a chest over here that you can't actually put anything in. But you got this here. You got some nice furnace and crafting table. Oh, I kind of like this window idea. I might have to steal this idea for like a build I need to do. But the bed is right here all snugged in with the design. You get a cool little balcony standing on this roof and all that from this, I guess, window here. And it seems like you can go even higher. Get an ender chest, get a chest up here, and actually get to the top of the tower where you can... Or it looks like the torches kind of mess up. But you can also enjoy the view of the respective areas. So, okay. Alright, so I do like how it seems like these aren't just simple builds either. This is something that will actually require quite a, a good amount of time to, you know, think about, design, and just, just kind of make in general. But I do like that we don't actually have to build it. So uh, let me know what you guys think. And also let me know after seeing all of them, which ones are probably your, your, your favorite build. I don't know. Um, Just let me know in the comment section down below. But uh, okay. Alright, let's try crafting another base. So is there any more crafting recipes around here? Like, hello? No, just a bunch of random chests with more bread that we might need, so I'm gonna grab that. Uh, alright, alright. So it looks like there's nothing really too important over here, so we might as well keep crafting some stuff. So we just did the wizard tower, which was all the way over here, so let's try the log lodge. So with this, it looks like there's just jungle planks, or jungle wood, and um, birch wood planks. So this one actually seems pretty simple to do. The top row is just the birch planks while the bottom two is literally all the jungle logs and you get the jungle lodge, I guess, you know, um, house in your hand where you can kind of place it anywhere. So let's try to do this, guys. Let's try to place it somewhere. Oh, whoops. We almost spawned it in there. Um, okay. That would have been bad. I don't know why it does that, but yeah, uh, let's find a place. Okay, over here looks pretty solid. So three, two, one. Uh, okay. Alright, so it's clearing out some area, it looks like, and an- Oh! I think it just killed a chicken. I'm not sure, but let's try it out. So, hello? Where is the door? This is the log lodge. I want to see what it looks like from kind of like a top-down view. Um, I'm not really sure what I feel about the design, but I just need to know how to get in. There is the door! Okay, awesome. So, alright. One major flaw with this place. There is a lack of any type of lighting. Like... Bruh, it's a good thing I stole these torches, man, so now we can kind of see, but okay, didn't kill a chicken, chicken's alive, so thank goodness, um, has a lot of storage in here, has a nice bunk bed design, I might have to steal this design, honestly, I like this one, oh, yo, okay, I might honestly have to steal that design, but, yo, okay, alright, pretty simple, not sure how I feel about the outside, because the door's kind of confusing to find, but it's there, it's cool. Let me know what you guys think. Pretty simple stuff. The Log Lodge is pretty legit. I'm, I won't lie there, so okay. Alright. I don't know, between the two, the Wizard Tower was cooler, but again, we have others that we need to, you know, kind of, um, kind of craft and spawn together, so, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm just trying to eat my bread. What's going on here? Is this gonna, like, not let me? Uh, okay. So next one after the log lodge is actually the farmhouse and this crafting recipe seems pretty simple You get spruce wood planks and a bunch of jungle wood slab And all you guys need to do is put the jungle wood slab all the way to the top and fill the other boxes with the spruce wood And you get the farmhouse spawn egg which you know it spawns that house By the way you guys can see the picture about what these are gonna look like if you guys are curious at all So we can kind of know what we're expecting kind of gauge the size of the area we are going to need which, to be honest, we, th this is going to work right here. I feel like this right here is the perfect amount of area and uh, all of that. So, one, two, three, four. Um, okay, let's see what it clears out. It clears out that side. All right. And you get a cute little farmhouse. Hello, sheep. Welcome to the farmhouse. And there's actually a chest out here with the uh, wheat farm. I like that a lot. Uh, okay. Inside, it's pretty small, but it's literally made as a farmhouse. I'm not sure how I feel about the sandstone being implemented to the roof. I've never tried that before, but it does look good. Oh, and the nice slab pattern with the um, other slab here. Okay, I'm actually getting a lot of building inspiration just by looking at these. Yo. Alright, maybe my survival world might look better if I just, like, kind of study these designs. Or if I can just, you know, craft the spawn eggs in my survival world. That would be pretty awesome. But, you know how it is, guys. Yeah, okay. We have a horse since when? Where's the saddle? Can we use the saddle? Because we might have to go far away pretty soon. Uh, no saddle. Alright, but there's a horse for no reason. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. It's totally fine. 
We can craft a house whenever. I have so much power right now, alright? So, next one is, um, this one, the modern house. Ooh, this might be my favorite. Looks like everything's literally made out of quartz and quartz slab. And the building crafting recipe, I guess, is pretty simple as the quartz slab is on top and then everything else is on the bottom. And you pretty much, oh, almost spawned it in here. Um, uh, you get a modern house, I guess, you know. I, I'm not really sure if this is a spawn egg or not. But I guess you basically just get a modern house, which I like modern houses in Minecraft. I think they look ridiculously great, like, depending where you put them, too. So we're just going to put it here, see where this place is going to kind of, like, create. And, oh, it created over here. Okay, kind of unexpected. Uh, the sheep actually got stuck. Buddy, I apologize for this, but stop being in the way. Thank you very much. But, um, okay, I always like the look of modern builds, but, wow, I'm always impressed by them. Uh, okay, we didn't actually touch the actual house. Looks like there's a big glass window going on. All right, let's go inside and see what the haps is. All right, the happening. The uh, thing that is inside. So, ooh, like how you kind of enter from up here. You're kind of at the upstairs, kind of like a stone on a f like stove furnace design going on here. Uh, flowers to make the place look wonderful. The colors they use definitely fit the modern theme, and your bedroom seems like it's down here. Not sure how I feel about this. But the place looks awesome, and wow, okay, I like this, where you kind of have, like, the chest kind of flushed inside the stairs with the, um, trap doors kind of, you know, you know, acting as the, uh, I don't know how to explain it, the railing, the guard, I'm, I'm not sure, but okay, alright, awesome stuff, Qu probably my favorite one, only because I'm kind of a sucker for modern house designs in Minecraft, so, yeah, I don't know, let me know your guys' thought process on that, but I do indeed like it, so, yeah, alright. Let's go right into the next one, which should be... Can we actually get up from here? I feel like we can, unless we can't. Uh, nope, this is just a random room with... Okay, alright. I don't know what's in those chests, but you can open them. Anyways, alright. Um, alright. Next one is the desert base, which... Ooh, this looks like it's gonna be kind of cool. It has a whole, like... Okay, okay, you know what? I feel it, I feel it. Alright, so the crafty recipe, pretty simple stuff. All six of them on the bottom, and then you put the slabs on the top two corners and get the desert base, um, you know, spawn thing. Ooh, the witch tower. Can't wait to try that one next. All right, all right. Pretty simple stuff. All right, so, uh, all we simply need to do is head over yonder, which I want, I need enough space for this one. I feel like this one's gonna look ridiculously epic. Um, okay, right here should be fine. So, if we place it down, three, two, one. All right, looks like it's gonna be made here. Oh! Oh, yeah, okay. I like the blocks used. Definitely makes it feel very deserty because of the Mesa blocks. Oh my gosh. You even get a nice little farm here with your water being covered up by carpet. I need to, like, use that design. I feel like that's actually going to be ridiculously useful for builds. Um, or farms, really. Okay. Uh, I, I usually use slabs, but I don't know why I never saw the carpet. Alright, big, big, uh, thing here. I guess it's hard to put torches and all that, but yeah. Okay, you got your um, area here. I like the use of the cobwebs making the place actually look pretty old. Oh, your bedroom though! And it has torches here, so I don't know why there couldn't be torches there, but... Okay! And, oh man, I like how the fact that there's actually like a sand area. I wish I could find like maybe a desert area and try to spawn it there, see if this place would actually, you know, fit in, but... Wow. Okay, I like the detail here and this block. What is this block? Some sand block? Some end block? I'm actually not sure. But all I know is it looks freaking good, so... Alright, still, the Modern House is probably my favorite, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, I'm just a sucker for Modern Houses, but... It is how it is, and it kinda is how it is, alright? So, next one. So this one is actually the Witch Tower, which has the exact same crafting recipe, except you have to use birch wood planks and birch wood slabs, which, again, same crafting recipe as the last thing we literally just made. And for some reason, I didn't craft it, so I am an idiot. But you know what? It's fine. We have it here, the Witch Tower, which is gonna look like that. Let's get it. Witch is gonna look like... Okay, it's a pun. Alright, guys, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't wanna spell it out for you, but... Yeah. Come on, fast thinking with puns, but okay. We probably have enough space here. It's a rainy day, but you know what? That's totally fine. So three, two, oh. Oh no, we actually got rid of the farmhouse. I didn't think it would be that big. Whoops, okay. But this thing looks ridiculously huge and crazy. I like the blocks used. I would never think of using sandstone with like, what is that? Diorite, andesite, I'm not sure, but... It definitely does look good with the white flooring around it. It definitely looks like a magical place. Wow, okay. 
Um, I like the staircase. I don't, I've never thought of using a staircase like this or making one like this, but yeah. There's a cool balcony little area going on here. We can see where the farmhouse used to be. I'm sorry, Sheep, that was probably your home, but yeah. Um, ooh. I like where the bedroom is at. All right, but uh, okay. Simple stuff. If I was a witch, um, I'd love to live in here. Honestly, it looks a lot better than the wizard tower, so... I'm sorry, Wizard. We gotta give it to the witches this time. They have a better looking area, man. Look at how majestically magical this thing looks, guys. Wow. Okay. Alright. I really am feeling it. I really do like it. So, man, that's... I don't know. I don't know. That's a good looking one. I still like the modern house more. Like, it's the modern house, guys. You guys can't hate a good modern house in Minecraft, but, you know, maybe something here will change my mind. So... Hello, crafting recipes. Looks like we got four more to go, and oh, these look pretty big. Okay, um, let's start out with the lighthouse, which, oh, okay, these crafting recipes are a little more complex now that I'm looking at them. Actually, let's start with the nether base and all that, so, yeah, um, okay, so you get nether brick blocks, nether brick fences, and nether slabs. The way you're gonna craft this is put the nether brick fences on the sides with the nether slabs on top of them, with the nether brick fence in the middle, and you guys get the nether base spawn, I guess, thing. I'm not really sure if it's an egg or not, but it is what it is, and it spawns what it spawns, so, yeah, these things actually look really cool in your hand. I don't know about you, if you got, like, a miniature house, but okay. Let's go a bit far away, a bit far down, a bit down yonder, you know how it is, I don't want to like, you know, break something, I wonder if we place it on top of water, no, 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 we're not going to do that. Hello donkeys, I am here to place a nice looking, uh, nether related base, maybe if we spawned it in nether, that'd be nice, but okay, oh, oh, it built this way, and oh, yo, first of all, good thing we didn't touch the house, second of all, yo, this, now is this here, is a nether base. What? Okay, okay. What? Okay, okay. I am actually mind blown right now. What the heck? You know what? Let's go in, see what's up. Uh, hello. We have a. Oh, this is nice. I like the outside of it, but inside it feels really cozy. And I. Okay, I don't. I, yeah, okay. That's just not opening. Um, bit of a big flaw design right there, but. Oh, man. A balcony. Okay, I can imagine this being a nether. You look out and see all the nether stuff. This would look just wonderful. But, oh my goodness, guys. Okay, there's chests everywhere. So your storage will be quite nice. This is a room up here. Oh, this is like the bedroom area. Okay, okay, okay. I, I could kind of like mess with this. I'm not sure about you guys. Got a nice little book area here. Uh, Alright, alright. And a nice enchantment and ender chest area. Okay. Alright, I will say, I might like this one more than the modern house, only because, you know, it's a nether base, guys, come on, like, I never expected this, but, is this, oh man, okay, I thought, like, ugh, I don't know, I don't know what I thought, but, okay, alright, that, uh, that might have beaten the modern house, honestly, I don't know what it is about it, but I just find that one ridiculously awesome, I don't know, maybe these next three are gonna beat it, but... As it's looking, I'm not too sure about that. Okay, alright. I'm trying to get in. There we go. We kind of hacked the system there, ladies and gentlemen. But okay, next one. Uh, alright, alright, alright. What do we have next to the nether base? Is the survival bunker. Alright, this is like with andesite slabs or polished andesite, really. And dirt. So if I do something like this, like this, and like this, you get a nice little... Okay, where is it? Our survival bunker thing. Okay, um... Alright, so I, I know what to expect with a survival bunker, it's probably going to be a little compact, a little bit small, but it's just made for one thing and one thing only, to survive, ladies and gentlemen, so, typically if I were to make one of these in the game, um, you know, I would be pretty hidden within a forest, I'd feel, or, I'm not sure really, but, I'd be trying to, hiding it and all that, so I'm going to place it right here. It clears out the area right there, and there do we go. A nice little survival. Actually, that looks very like it feel like it feels like I could this could definitely fit in here. And what the heck is this? I'm not sure, but bro, this thing looks beautiful. Looks like it could fit into a mountain if I picked a better area. Actually, oh, we almost fell. Okay, all right. If we picked a better area, this would look like it would be flushed in. But okay. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. Let's enter the bunker of survival. And oh. 
I like the look of this place, to be honest. It, maybe they put it inside a, like, an underground cave. Oh, and then you update. You got a big chest room, because of course you're in a survival bunker and you can open every chest too, even the top ones. All right. Oh, man. Nice ender chest here, transport items. You can use this kind of like to look out the window and all of that if you are outside. Oh, man. I feel like I would definitely want this underground instead. But okay. All right. Some chests over here. Nice little window here. Okay. Um... Another one's still my favorite. We still got two more to go. Okay, we still got two more, and you guys still have a choice too. So if there's something that you guys definitely like more than you know anything you've seen so far, let me know. Hello, pig. I'm here to destroy you and everything that you stand for. And you know what, horse? I'm just kidding. I was about to let you go, but I decided not to because I'm a pretty mean guy. So, whatever. Anyways, let's go in here and see what's good. All right. So next thing next, uh, alright, let's go for the lighthouse and then the treehouse for last since these two seem to be like the most complex looking ones over here, so there we go. So this one is fairly simple. You put the red wool in the middle, the white wool under it, the quartz slabs on each corner and glowstone on top and you have made yourself a nice little lighthouse to uh, really place anywhere, but we're gonna pick a good place to put it because I feel like this is gonna be one of the bigger builds, so might as well give us a bit more space so let's try to go this direction i feel like i haven't really put anything here so yeah uh eat this cooked beef and okay all right let's see how this goes so in five four three two right here seems perfect all right let's run away for a bit and okay all right hopefully we didn't cut into okay didn't look like we cut into it but oh so it's like a lighthouse with a nice little house well it says lighthouse am i stupid all right let's go inside Okay, you got some cake, you got a nice kitchen. Oh, and I like the whole colorful insides, I guess. You guys got, okay, so this is the actual lighthouse itself, the books and the enchantment table being right there. Not sure if that'll actually work with, you know, leveling it up, but you guys get like kind of, you know, um, floors in between to kind of like hang out, do whatever you realistically want. Um, another ender chest, not really sure what for, but okay. And I'm trying to go all the way up. So these stairs, I would feel, are very annoying if you were to live here. But you can actually go out in the balcony and um, really enjoy yourself with the light there. Hmm. Really not sure what else there is besides all this stuff. So let me land safely down as I, you know, walk down, I guess. I'm not sure. Uh, But yeah, no, this place looks... Wow, okay. Another base still my favorite, guys. I'm sorry, but this... Oh, man. I would not mind. You guys get a little bit of a bedroom up here. I did not realize that. And there's a door over here that lets you just kind of look out. But okay. Like how we didn't actually touch this place here. Uh, what the is this? A desert bumper bunker, I believe. So, uh, right, alrighty. Let's let's just get the last one, man. The last one is a treehouse. So, if this doesn't impress me, it's probably going to. It looked pretty impressive in the picture. So... Yeah, but if this doesn't impress me, I'm gonna be a little bit disappointed, a little bit mad, but you know how it is. We just got to be impressed ourselves, I guess. So, alright, what's over here? Hello there! Treehouse. So with this one, you get an oak leaf, you get the... Okay, you just get a lot of oak-related stuff. So with this one, you make the oaks on each side just like that, with the oak fences in the middle. The uh, oak leaf right on the top middle, and the wooden slabs fill in the rest of the place, and you get a tree house and all that so I'm just gonna make this assumption that this one is gonna be the biggest one so far but you know at, at least we should have enough space somewhere for it to be honest over here seems like a good amount of room so all right let's see hopefully it doesn't cut into it oh it might cut into that oh it actually wait did it cut into that we might actually be oh my gosh I don't think we actually cut into it that much. It actually is the perfect spot. You see that? Or I guess I cut into it a little. But whoa! Okay! I knew this one was gonna be big, so shouldn't be too surprised. Um, you know what I never understand are these trees made out of fences. I don't understand them, but... Oh, and the actual door is down here! Yo! What's this? Okay, I thought you could kind of go under something, but I guess not. But alright. One, two, three, and okay, stairs right away. A little bit of a cramped staircase. Not sure if I like that, but you guys got Oh, I like this whole window idea over here, so... Alright, alright. That's a cool way to put a window into a 4x4, uh, four I believe. And you guys got a small little chest room here. Nice little balcony to see what else you've been living in. Okay, cool stuff. Um, What else is next? Okay. Ooh, bunk bed. I, I'm starting to like these bunk bed designs. I don't know what it is about them, but... The fact that you can sleep here and here, you know. Okay, I guess you can't really sleep here because of the height, but okay. Oh, man. A small little enchantment room, too? Okay. 
a lot smaller than I initially anticipated, but it definitely is a treehouse I would be proud to call home, so... Alright, so for me, the nether base would be my favorite, then it would be the modern house, then the lighthouse, and you know, everything else is kind of equal to me. But um, let me know what you guys think. Which one of these builds were your favorite? And if you guys want to try it out, everything will be linked down below underneath that like button. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, don't forget to be subscribed, like the whole video. And guys, you know, watch your, you know, I made it this far. I love you guys so much. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I love stuff like this in Minecraft that you can just craft, not really put too much work into. I know I'm a lazy dude, but it looks good, okay? So if you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, do all that stuff, and I guess I'll just see you guys in the next one. So peace, bye-bye, and subscribe. See you guys later.